hi guys and welcome in this video i will walk you through different types of chicken poop or droppings and what they indicate when it comes to your chicken's health because there are many types of chicken droppings it's important to know what the different colors and texture of your chicken droppings mean so you can tell exactly what's going on with it often times Chicken droppings can help us point out a chicken disease that will require our immediate attention in case a chicken has contracted a disease or experiencing malnutrition. Now, before we go into it, the color of the dropping, presence of blood on the dropping, the texture in terms of how watery or firm it is, are the important things to look out for when observing your chicken droppings. So to help us know the differences, we shall need to know how the normal chicken droppings look like to begin with. This will enable us know when there is a change in how your chicken droppings normally should appear. Normal chicken droppings usually have a portion of a shade of brown, which is the fecal matter of digested and undigested material, with a bit of white portion on top which consists of uric acid, fairly solid. Normal chicken droppings can appear in brown shade, yellow shade, green shade, especially if they are free-range chickens and can also even appear in black, usually depending on the type of diet they have and health they are in. Green chicken droppings. Seeing green chicken droppings may indicate that your chickens feed on green vegetables herbs or grasses and this is normally seen in free-range chickens that have access to these greens or the fact that you provide greens to your indoor chickens. It's always a solid consistency with a green part and white part on top and there is nothing to worry about because it's normal and if your chickens have no any form of access to greens but have droppings that are green in color and a consistency that's watery it may certainly mean that there is something wrong with your chickens it could be internal worms newcastle disease or marex disease the white part tends to appear yellowish in color another reason that could be making your chickens drop green poop is that bile salts secreted by the bile were released into the digestive system when the chickens were starving Probably because their feeds got finished. The best way to control this is by always having your chickens vaccinated against viral diseases and often deworm them. The next type of dropping to look out for is for me yellow chicken dropping. This type of dropping may be as a result of a chicken consuming too much of a certain kind of food in its feed, such as maize. Or can be as a result of an early sign of kidney malfunction, intestinal infection, internal worms, or fall typhoid. This can be controlled by treating it early using prescribed drugs or using organic remedies such as bitter leaf to curb viral infections and also using garlic and purple seeds for internal worms. Next is milky and all white chicken poop. When you notice such chicken poop, it should call for your attention immediately because it may be as a result of gomboro disease or internal worms. The best way to prevent gomboro disease is by having your birds vaccinated against it. Next is runny brown chicken poop. This may be as a result of a contagious bronchitis or E. coli. It can also be as a result of a chicken consuming foods that contain a lot of water like watermelons. These infectious diseases can be organically controlled using garlic. Next is watery and clear chicken poop. This kind of chicken poop is totally normal if the chicken's water intake is high due to excessive heat or as a result of consuming watery foods. But it wouldn't be normal when the chickens possibly experiencing kidney damage. This may be controlled by giving your chickens antibiotics. The last type of chicken poop I'll talk about is bloody chicken poop. Presence of blood in your chicken poop could be as a result of coccidiosis, 
it affects the intestines of a chicken. You can organically treat this in its early stages using bitter leaf herb remedy. Mm-hmm.